In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can offer your clients both paid and free individual image instant downloads. So to get started, we're going to go into the Photos tab and then into our Galleries. So from the Galleries page, we can set it up so that our clients can download the individual images for free. And to do that, we're going to click on the name of a gallery. We're going to go down to the Gallery Permissions. And from here, we're going to add our client's email address in this section that says permission to download individual images. This box here allows us to choose how many images that they can download. If we want to say they can download an unlimited number of images, just select the no download limit. Otherwise, we're going to select a specific number of images for them. I'll select two downloads and I'll save. And now when your client logs into the gallery using the email address that you provided in that setup screen, they're going to be able to download up to two images based on our permission that we gave them right here. So let's cancel out of this. We'll go visit the gallery. And from here, we'll put in our client's email address so you can see how that works. We'll click View Event. And then as we view the images, there's a download option under each of these images. Clicking the download option will allow that image to be downloaded. And once they've downloaded the maximum number of images, they'll no longer be able to do that. That's how you can give your clients free downloads. Now, let's go back and let's set it up so that you can offer your clients paid downloads. To do that, we'll go into the Selling tab, then into the Purchase Options page, and we'll create a new purchase option. Since we're going to be setting it up as individual download, let's click on this category and individual image instant download. I'm going to call this one low resolution instant download. We'll set it up to be an individual image instant download, and we can select what size of an image we want our clients to download. It can be a custom size, a web size, which is 1280 pixels on the largest side, or it can be high resolution, which is basically the full size of your image. I'm going to say custom size, and I'm going to say 1600 pixels. And that 1600 pixels is going to be the longest side of the image. So for example, if this is a vertical image, it might be 1600 pixels tall by 1200 pixels wide. The next option allows us to choose a sample image for this particular purchase option, but since I don't have a sample image for an instant download, I'm going to leave that blank. The option price can be set through the pricing sheets page, and we'll go ahead and do that after we've created this option, but let's finish going through these different settings here first. The next settings is to charge sales tax, to charge shipping, to apply a watermark, and then to upload a copyright release. I'm going to go ahead and say to charge sales tax, since that's required in Utah for digital images. I'm not going to charge shipping, since shipping isn't required for a digital image, and I'm not going to apply a watermark, since I want my clients to be able to receive their images watermark free. I also don't have a copyright release PDF available to me right now, but if you do have one, you can upload that PDF and your clients will receive a copy of it when they purchase their images. For the description, I'm going to say low resolution digital download, and I'm going to save it. So now that the page is refreshed, we can see our low resolution instant download option right here. I'm going to move it up a bit so it's right there above our high resolution digital photo. And then we're going to go ahead and add a price to it through our pricing sheets. Since my images are associated with the 2018 pricing, I'm going to go ahead and modify this pricing sheet. I'm going to scroll down here and here's the new option that we have. I'm going to give it a price of $9.99 and I'm going to save my pricing. Now I'm going to jump back to the client gallery so you can see how that appears for them. I'm going to refresh this page, and I'm going to go in to purchase one of these images. I'll click to cart, and you can see that my new low resolution instant download is available right here. And that's how you do it. That's how you set up your individual image downloads to be free or paid, depending on what you want to do for your clients. If you have any questions about this, shoot us an email at support at instaproofs.com.